Hello, and welcome to On the Couch. I'm Emily Render. And I'm Tom Varela. I hope you're ready, I hope you're in the mood to laugh tonight because tonight we're joined by the Roman Improv Club. We have President Andrew Snellen, Vice President Sean O'Malley, and General Member John Hager. Hey guys, thanks for joining us tonight. Thanks for coming. Hey, thanks for having hey, us. Yeah. Yeah. Glad to be here. Glad to have you guys. Yeah. I yeah, thanks. <laughs> <laughs> I wanted to say something too. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so uh, for people who don't know exactly what it is, what, is it, uh, what exactly is improv? What do you guys exactly do? Improv is, it's comedy off the top of your head. Um, a common saying is often, uh, you're up in the air and you figure out how to build the plane on the way down. Like, you, it, there's no script, there's nothing, it's all at the top of our heads. All that we go off of is a suggestion. That's it, like usually mm -hmm. like one or two words and then we just make a mini skit out of it. Wow, okay. Yeah. That's great. Yeah. It's very hard. It, I was gonna say, it cannot be <laughs> yeah, easy to do. It's very so hard. hard. Yeah, it takes a bit. Mm -hmm. So what like inspired you guys to start this and like how old were you when you first got into improv? Well, I, um, I started up this club uh, last fall we um, finally got SGA approved last spring. I started it up, I was the uh, secretary, and uh, our president was Kelso, uh, I forget her last name, whatever. Doesn't Klein was our president. Doesn't exist anymore. Okay, yeah. so Evelyn Klein was our president for the, our first SGA uh, semester, and then Evan Newland was our treasurer, who mm -hmm. then became our president this past fall. Um, and we, well I started uh, improv back in high school, because I was part of the theater department there, or your program there and it was just always like something I did for fun it's never something I really wanted to pursue as like a, mm -hmm. a job or like start really a club for but I just have fun doing it and I feel like other people should have that kind of fun yeah oh, that's Absolutely. great right. yeah oh. uh, same I was uh, I was in high school uh, yeah, I, uh, <laughs> it's going this way yeah I know. <laughs> that's why I said this um, now I, started, I started in high school. Uh, I had to take a arts class, um, so I took Theater 101, mm -hmm. and my teacher, we would do improv skits. Mm -hmm. um, like, we start off with practice before we would do actual scenes. And at first I thought it was, like, really dumb, because, you know, it's, it's so hard to think that fast. Um, but eventually, like, you just keep drilling it, and you just keep drilling it, and you get better and better and better. And I was like, all right, this is, like, fun to do. Like, I just love the fact that, like, you know, from nothing you can just make people, you know, bust their ribs laughing, you know? Yeah, yeah. absolutely. Uh, I also started doing theater back in high school, and some of my favorite portions weren't exactly like when we would do stuff on script, but mm -hmm. uh, I would do murder mysteries that they would have when I was in high school, Ooh. and um, yeah. they allowed a uh, portion where the audience could ask the characters questions to try to figure it out for themselves. <laughs> um, I actually just did one like this past weekend too here, oh, wow. so that was fun. Um, but during that, it's all improv, so you just have to make it up based on your character, and some of those were just my favorite moments out of like doing anything, and um, so that was really fun. And then I also started to do stand-up comedy last year. So like I thought combining those two kind of things would be really cool and see if I was quick enough to think on my feet. So I joined the club uh, in like October with these guys. Wow. So yeah. Wow, awesome, that's, that's yeah. amazing. Mm -hmm. uh, so going down the line again, uh, we'll start with you. Uh, what is your, what's your favorite improv scenario that you've done in the past? Oh, jeez. <laughs> <laughs> you know, too late. We just had one just now. Yeah, <laughs> just yeah. 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 Uh, Be on the bloopers. I really don't yeah. try to um, hold on to improv because the thing about it, mm -hmm. it all happens in the moment. Mm -hmm. And once the moment's gone, I kind of just let it go. Right. Um, some of my favorite games to do are Oscar winning monologue. It's where you have like a you'll have a scene going on, and you'll have you have to have like epic music to have a monologue over. So the scene will be going on, and then the person like to the side will be like, freeze! John, this is your Oscar winning monologue. And, and then the yeah. music plays and you have to give a dramatic monologue about whatever you were just talking about. So that's like my favorite game. Wow. Anyone else? Pretty much. Yeah, it's a favorite of mine too. I mean, it's so funny. Like, it, it, somebody will be like, you know, put my cheese down and be like, John. This is your Oscar winning monologue. And then you're just going on a tirade about cheese for like two minutes. And it's funny because it's just like, it's this gripping music. And like, the more you get into it, like, if you're tearing up and just talking about a slice of cheese, it's hysterical. <laughs> People will lose their ish over it. Um, oh, good, I kinda, good sensor. I like that. Yeah, you like that? Yeah, yeah. You like that John piece right there? Yeah. 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 Say no, that some work. I'm really PG. Um, oh, good for you, man. No, but I, I agree. It's, it's very hard uh, to hang on to a tangible moment mm -hmm. with improv because like as quick as it comes it goes um so i mean 
there's just so many times where the chemistry's on point, everything's mm -hmm. just running well. Um, I mean, like, again, I have to go with along with Andrew. Um, it's the games that you kind of remember. Uh, there's this really funny one. It's two-line vocabulary. It is so difficult. There's three people. Uh, if, say if we were playing right now, uh, these two would only be allowed to say two lines each. Okay. So we asked the audience, hey, can we get a statement for Andrew? Then they'll be like, you know, um, I don't like that would be a statement. Now can we get a question? Why are you doing that? Then we'll be like, all right, for Sean, can we get one? It'll be like, uh, you know, like going back to the cheese example again, because I'm very hungry. Um, <laughs> be like, I want cheese. And then his question will be like, why? You know, and that, that's why? all I have to work as, as a middle person, because then I have to drive the scene. So like, we'll get, you know, where are we at? Grocery store. I work as an employee. I just have these two annoying me with two line vocabularies. I have to embellish them, give them jokes to set them up so that those two lines are funny. It sounds in practice that it wouldn't work, but mm. I mean, when everything's going together, it just clicks. Mm. Wow, yeah. very cool, yeah. very cool. Um, so my favorite's a little different than their two. Uh, my no. favorite game, that... <laughs> dude, right. it's my turn. <laughs> <laughs> I let you both talk. Come it's back, my Chris turn. Pratt. It's my turn. It's my turn. <laughs> Stop. Come on. <laughs> All right. Um, no, my favorite game is uh, one that we do called um, Everlasting Suspense, where uh, if we're lucky enough to get a room to practice and that has a piano, essentially we'll have somebody go and they'll play like uh, a small scale, like to start it off as if it's going into a, a dream sequence or something like that. But you have two people and if they're uh, just doing a scene together, whatever, and the piano is quietly playing in the background, but eventually it builds up to a point where they just do a sting and they slam on the keys. And then the next line that comes out of a person's mouth has to just up the ante of whatever's going on. So if me and John are talking about, hey man, did you go to the store and like get a pizza? Yeah, I did, it was, it was, it was really, you know, it was cheap. And then it goes Good. boom, and then he's like. But I know where you were. What are you talking about, John? Out at the bar. Yeah, and then like, mistress. And, and then it like, keeps it's going, like, yeah. and it keeps building until like somebody's got another person is a crab <laughs> mutant, and they're arguing about sandwiches <laughs> in the middle of a parking lot, and it's it's just it, it it's really funny once wow. it just devolves wow. <laughs> out of like mm -hmm. normal. That's yeah. great. I need to consider joining or getting into improv. It seems so yeah, fun. Yeah, there's some like oh, different scenarios. It's, it's that so, like fun. so much fun. Yeah. Um, and it's even really though fun. like we, I mean we say like it's really tough to do, but. I mean, a lot of it, like, uh, I, I try to tell people all the time, don't try to think so hard on it, just come, just say what comes naturally. Because mm -hmm. a lot of the times, that will be funny. Because, you know, everybody knows that, you know, we're all making it up on the spot. Right. Like, there, there's, there's, a, there's an agreement between uh, the performer and audience that it's like, all right, mm -hmm. obviously you didn't write this, obviously you didn't plan this, you're just, you get a suggestion, go. Right. Um, Wow. And I, I feel like that loosens up a little more. And once people kind of get that in their head, I feel like they get more lax. Yeah. And wow, very cool. More approachable yeah. for it. Awesome. Yeah. Yeah. After the break, Andrew, Sean, and John will not just tell us about improv, but show us it and how they do it. So stay with us. Welcome back, guys. So now that we just heard about the improv club, Let's get to experience a couple of actual improv skits. So, before we guys get started, uh, do you guys want to plug any social media while you're here? Yes. You can follow us on Twitter at Rowan Improvs. You can follow us on Instagram at Rowan Improvs. And you can follow us on MySpace. Cool. I'm we not kidding. <laughs> we, we, actually, we actually have a MySpace. You can go find it. Just type the That's Improvs the in, the, in the search bar. Yeah, you, it is the challenge. <laughs> Except there's no treasure. It's just... A, a bad MySpace page that's about 13 years past its due. So, <laughs> yeah, okay. All right, so that, we're going to do a little game. <laughs> so you have a minute to perform. Um, we have cards in our hands, and they each have a scenario on them okay. that you guys can perform. And most of them have three characters to them. Okay. So you guys, like I said, have a minute to perform um, each scenario. So we're going to get off the stage, and the stage is yours. <laughs> do you right. want to read the first I one? I got the first scenario for you guys. So. Oh. Being a little girl, you are walking home as a dog followed you home. Now you have to convince your parents to let you keep it. So we have three parts, mom, dad, and the daughter. Since you're the present, you're the dad, you're the mom, okay. and you will be the daughter, convincing your parents <laughs> to keep the dog that you found. All right, tall guy. Stage is yours, guys. Stage is all yours, guys. Good right. luck. Okay. Yo, mom, dad, check out my dog. Hi. I found him. That thing's disgusting. Billy. <laughs> What? What Smell. did I tell you about bringing animals home? <sighs> Only bring them home if they can be used for dinner. Exactly. <laughs> Dinner's on. Woo! I'm going to start up the saucepan. 
<laughs> Good job, guys. Good job, guys. <laughs> you took it in a completely different direction than I thought you guys were. Yeah, Subversion? That was great. Oh, that's, that's that was great. great. Subversion. Yeah. Yeah. Cool. Okay, so your next scenario is person A accuses person B of having an affair with his wife while the wife is in the room. <laughs> so, wife. <laughs> Hi, all the girls today. Husband. Excuse you, I just played the ball. I just did. Uh, all right. All right. I'm the, he's the cheater. All right. Man. Good luck, gentlemen. You're the husband. I'm the husband. I'm, oh, you've yes. been sleeping. Hey, Randy! You've been sleeping with my wife? No, no, no. no. We haven't been sleeping, per se. Yeah, just sex. <laughs> Lots of it. <laughs> Reginald, you don't fulfill me anymore. Mm. You yeah. borrowed your jar of pickles. Not the pickles. <laughs> the pickles. The wife, I can understand, but the pickles. The pickles, Randy. <laughs> you brought it too far. Get out of my house. Oh. You're never allowed back. <laughs> <laughs> I'm leaving you. All right, bye. Go enjoy your pickles, you s***. <laughs> <laughs> can I say that? <laughs> well, we'll bleep, 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 bleep it. Bleep it. Bleep that one out. Just bleep oh it. For the kids at home. Make a fun sound oh, yeah, effect, though. Can, Don't just go beep. They can edit this stuff in post. We can. Yeah. Oh, oh, wow. We're lucky yeah, we're not recording live good. right now. Oh. All right. <laughs> I, I got the third scenario okay. for you guys. Yeah. So, three people, you three, okay. stuck in an elevator with one being the world's worst person to be stuck in an elevator with. So, uh, you two will be the normal two people and you'll be the worst person to be in an elevator with. Okay. All right. Let's, Let's do see it. it. <laughs> Ding. I really hope the floor doesn't, oh shit, we stopped. Hi, how's it going? Yeah, no! I understand! Yes, I did put on my toe cream today! <laughs> no, I had to let it ferment overnight! Excuse me! So, excuse me, I'm on the phone. Are you real? Yes! Hey, either you fellas like Marmalade. <laughs> Marmalade is interesting. Get me out of here! The gym. Get me out of here! The <laughs> <gym. laughs> oh my god. Was, you guys are great. Oh, you guys are shakes. Great. Oh, it shakes. God, please. <laughs> <laughs> please. 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 Yes, please. All right. I will throw, I will throw all over this set. I'm on back. <laughs> okay, ready for scenario four? No, oh no. Give me a second. You got Motrin? You behind the camera, you got Motrin? <laughs> He's just laughing. Leave the crew out of there. Oh my god. Oh my god. Stop. Stop. Alright, we got one more for you guys. Okay, okay ready? More, yeah. Two people who met on Tinder, which is an online dating website, if you guys didn't know. <laughs> and tonight is the Never first happened. time you guys are meeting in person. One being a boyfriend, one being a girlfriend, one being the waiter. So, um,. You could be boyfriend, right. girlfriend, waiter. <laughs> Take it away, guys. Oh, yeah. I have been determined to be the most manly of us all. Yes, good. <laughs> go, go. Well, um. Ah, hello. What are you to like for dinner today? I made fire. Sir, uh, madam, we cannot allow you to do that in the middle of the restaurant. I use Tinder to make fire to find. Mate! I'm sorry, I think I, I, I joined the wrong Tinder. Uh, <laughs> what do you I, mean? Wrong I, Tinder! Well, well she, yeah, what do you I'm mean? I'm just gonna put your book down for a side <laughs> salad. Hey, okay! Uh, <laughs> extra large picture of water to set the table out. I got it, okay, I'll be back later, okay? Stop! <laughs> 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 That's great, guys. <laughs> that is that is wonderful. <laughs> I have a oh headache. Oh my god, I love it. <laughs> I know, I'm laughing too hard. Oh my um, gosh, that so was <laughs> wonderful. You guys are amazing. Thank you so much for being yeah, on the show. Yeah, that was your last hey, scenario. Wow, Thank you, guys. Amazing. Right. Wow. It's, you wow. Blew me completely by yeah, surprise. It's that been was a amazing. Pleasure. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> really. Awesome. Well, coming up after the break, we've got Victoria Todorova and Dana Mincho with this week's "We're on the Street." Don't go away. Welcome back to On the Couch. So that Danny, so, so trying to like, I guess, I kind of relate to most of the people on the show. 
uh, where I actually don't remember most of the stuff, whereas they mostly do. It's always yeah. like when I'm getting ready in the morning, I usually forget like one or two things all the time. Yeah, I'm surprised a lot of people actually didn't say they like forgot because that's totally me. I forget I, everything. <laughs> yeah, especially with my like my lack of sleep, yeah. I, I just can't. Like yeah, I, I get in my car, ready to commute, and I go. I forgot like the book I supposed to, I need the report I wrote last night. I had to That's need me. that. Yeah. <laughs> Literally. All right, let's get into so, hot topics. Yes, let's do it. All right, so did you hear about Pliables opening on campus? I have not. Um, so it's a really healthy place. Um, it's a bunch of fruit in a bowl. Mm -hmm. um, but it is really expensive. Although it is expensive, I see kids in there all the time. It's always so crowded, so it's like really, really? great. Yeah, you should try it if you haven't. Yeah. Wow, no, I haven't heard of this place. Yeah, and sometimes they put like Nutella on top. It's like really great. Really? Um, I love it personally. Oh, wow, look at that. Yeah, it's That great. looks really it good. It is really good. It looks really good. Yeah, and it's a good way to stay healthy, you know? Yeah, absolutely. It's and good for uh, tastes college good, kids. It's healthy. Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, you know what I mean? Not like every day, but like every, like every other day. Exactly. Like, hey, when you complete that test, like, hey, I'm going to go there, treat myself mm -hmm. a little bit with healthy stuff. Exactly. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> so um, I have my hot topic for this week is uh, so. Emily, have you ever wanted to live on the moon? I've thought about it. Yeah? You know whatever stopped me from going on the moon? Wi-Fi. I can't live without Wi-Fi. Well, we right? Well, uh, supposedly the moon is going to get its very own 4G LTE network next year. Wow. Right. Crazy. Like, that's, that's absurd. Like, why would you need that? Well, I feel a little unnecessary. Yeah, right. Well, it's, um, so here's how it works. So we got uh, Vodafone, Nokia, and Audi are, prepar are preparing to launch a 4G network on the SpaceX Falcon 9 rocket that's going to be launching next year. That's how the 4G will get to space. Uh, the technology that they're using is actually the same weight as a bag of sugar, like a Ziploc bag wow. of sugar. It's like really, really light. It's, it's incredible. Like that one thing can bring Wi-Fi to the entire like, moon, which is crazy. And um, the quote that I got from the article was, uh, this is a crucial first step for sustainable exploration of the solar system. In order for humanity to leave the cradle of Earth, we need to develop infrastructures beyond our home uh, home planet, yeah. which is, yeah, I get that. I mean, we really don't need the Wi-Fi, but yeah, we're living like in such a society where we, we, we do need it. That like, really is not. like today's technology. That's just how our society is nowadays, mm -hmm. I feel. Like mm -hmm. everything is like electronics and all about technology. So I kind of understand, but yeah. still a little up there, you know? It's, it's crazy, yeah. <laughs> it is. We don't need any time soon. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So our last hot topic is something really exciting. Um, an update on the Olympics actually is that the women's hockey team uh, finally beat their rival, Canada, go, in a shootout. Go USA. Which is crazy. That's it's been awesome. 20 years since oh. um, US has beat Canada or just uh, won the it's championship. Just got a medal. Yeah, like yeah, gold medal. And That's crazy. They've gotten silver so many times against Canada. So, like, this is a really big thing uh, for yeah. the women's team. Um, Jocelyn Davidson uh, scores an amazing goal in uh, the overtime, or I mean, the shootout, which mm. was like amazing and everyone crazy. Their goalie played great. I don't know if you watched it or not. No, I I, I pretty much missed the entire Winter Olympics. I was so busy <laughs> with school and everything. Yeah. I'll probably catch the highlights. Yeah. I was I was like, oh, I can't watch the Olympics. Yeah. It sucks. I am personally it's, a big hockey fan. So yeah. I was really excited to watch that, and I was really excited for our, just our country to be able to exactly be doing good in the Olympics. I think that's great, and mm -hmm. it's great pride for our own country. You know? Yeah, it's like yeah. the Olympics, whether it's the winter or summer Olympics, the one time where our country like comes together, roots for the same team. Exactly. You know, not, not, not Eagles, the Patriots, not this or that. It's, we only have one it's, team. Yeah, it's we're our together. Country. Exactly. I love it. That's yeah. amazing. It is really great. Yeah, so. absolutely. Mm -hmm. um, that's all we have for you today. I'm Tom Viola. And I'm Emily Render. Thanks for tuning in and have a great week, guys.